morning guys so today is a work from home day and t- i surprisingly woke up quite early but just stayed in my bed i wake up around like 6 30 um which is my first alarm and i think because i was quite well rested yesterday from such a big workout and it made me like have a really deep sleep um so yeah so now i'm just gonna make some breakfast and then start the day um i'm gonna be making blueberry bagels um put some ricotta and honey and maybe extra blueberries um and then also make some matcha
Hi guys, so I'm currently doing some work, work from home day. I will be leaving the house soon to for a personal um a personal errand you can say. Um but yeah hopefully everything goes well and yes. Um, lately things has been quite um, eventful um, it's already October which is so crazy and um, yeah Halloween is coming and it's like that season now and yeah it's like two months left to the end of the year and I just felt that I wanted to reflect the year a bit um, I'll just say, yeah, for the past week, I've actually got a quite nice opportunity. I have opportunities in work um, and like taking on like a new client and having more like work to do and like to do a more autonomy, autonomy. like, yes, yeah, so um, I also ha um, last weekend, I got like um, reached out actually during the week to to have a taste testing experience of um, of the menu of a place that um, is quite known I would say but um, it's been a while since I seen people visit this place but um, I do see that it's always quite crowded the place is quite small um, but it's quite yeah, it's definitely something that like can be quite popular among um, the Gen Zs, especially. So this is like a like Korean um, convenience store called Uptown Korea, and um, they're located in like Town Hall, like the alleyway. It looks kind of dodgy in yeah the area um, in the city. Um, so yeah, if you haven't visited, um, definitely check them out. So they are coming up with a new menu items that um, I'm not too sure about the pricings yet, but hopefully they are affordable for those who want to you know, eat on budget. But um, generally they have a lot of Korean street food that is freshly made um, at the store. So it's not like your supermarket where you get pre-made, pre-packed like um, uh, like pre-made already um, like for like a couple of days but they actually make it fresh th um, there so you order it and they make it for you so yeah there's things like tabaki, um, kimbap um, and now bimbimbap so this is something that is quite good and um, I know that usually Korean food when you go to a restaurant it is quite exy um, so instead of going to like a Korean restaurant and dining in, in a Korean restaurant um, if you want something on the go this Korean um, convenience store is really good and um, it does give you that experience of like um, sort of like in Korea where they have a lot of Korean um, like convenience stores and like street food outside of this um, along the streets and that's something that we don't have in Sydney so yeah um, that is pretty cool to have something like this and I was reached out at um, on my socials and um, I was so like like excited about it like I this is actually my first food collab and it's my first experience being a food influencer um, and yeah I've always like dreamed to be a food influencer um, but I also like to promote brands that I feel like I actually eat those like foods so yeah I am like a fan of Korean food and so I was like uh, why not get this opportunity to try out their menu and I also haven't tried out their food before so it was nice to just yeah, try their menu and new menu set and yeah um, but yeah like my experience there was quite nice their service was really friendly um, the only thing is that the place is quite small so there's not a lot of seats around so I did see some people leaving because they couldn't have a seat so um, it would be good to have like, extra seats outside of the restaurant um, convenience store but in general if you like to just grab something on the go that's also um, okay so yeah um, 
yeah, I brought my boyfriend to test try as well. He's someone that can't take spice, so um, it is possible to have options where you don't add spice to your meal. But um, I would say um, tabaki, for example, is like um, full spicy. You can have like kimbap that's non-spicy, and also the bibimbap you just um, take out the spice, sea sauce. So yeah, um, so that was my experience. Um, I am looking forward to um, have more like opportunities like this but that was like definitely the highlight of my weekend um, but yeah I also went to a um, like a festival called the Granny Smith Festival um, in a local area and that was also quite fun um, getting together with friends and um, close ones and going on rides like it felt like I was in the Easter show, uh, which is something that is quite a yearly thing for, for Easter time, but it's quite expensive to go to Easter show, but this was um, a more affordable one where there's no entry fee, it's um, open and all stores around the shops in Eastwood. So yeah, they do this every year and that was quite fun and yeah, that was also like a highlight of my weekend. Yes, so I'll speak to you guys soon. Um, heading back to work. Head up high, smile like it's so 